Active flooding is still uh, active along the Catawba River, Lake Hickory, uh, and then that vicinity. This is along I-40, and, and this is really uh, the waterway that helps collapse portions of I-40, especially in the bends where the water would hit these bends and kind of erode it away very quickly. Parts of, of uh, I-40 just dropped right in. Uh, it's going to be some time before the repairs uh, can continue in that area. Also along the French Broad River, flood warnings are active in different sections, some all the way until Thursday. So that Asheville Henderson court, Hendersonville corridor uh, still have some work to do there as well. Doesn't help that we had more rain there yesterday and into the evening hours. Even overnight rain uh, did just kind of trickle through our region too. It's all winding down at the moment. We got one more day of, uh, of fewer showers, but showers nonetheless. Uh, temperatures mid to upper 60s to get you started today. In the wide view, still this active wet pattern. Just things aren't moving very quickly and uh, bringing those persistent rains, especially in the afternoons. It starts to sweep eastward, thankfully, so we'll start to see some drier days on folding, especially Wednesday and for the rest of this week. The wet pattern that's gone on for weeks now is going to start to shut down, so we're thankful for that too. North winds at 5 to 10. Uh, I'll keep a chance or a mention at least for some mist drizzle and some fog first thing this morning. Uh, good cloud cover in the area too. Temperatures will be in the mid 70s this afternoon with rain chances beginning to dwindle after that. Mid 70s in the foothills. Your chance for rain farther west. Unfortunately, the area that doesn't need it, of course, has a slightly higher rain chance. 40%, uh, but it's passing. It gets through quickly and then uh, things start to dry out after that. Same with the mountains with high temperatures in the upper 60s today. You can see coverage isn't all that extravagant. Uh, will last or at least linger into the uh, dinner time and then should begin to taper off around midnight. Uh, check in the tropics. We've got a number of areas to watch. We've got Kirk and Joyce. Uh, Joyce is a tropical depression and fizzling fast. Kirk was christened yesterday as a tropical storm. This is forecast to be a major hurricane. Uh, the fortunate thing about this, it's expected to get turned uh, into the central and north Atlantic. This is a slow mover, but should be uh, nowhere near the United States. Uh, on the other side, we've got this uh, this tropical system. This could develop and has a good chance of becoming our next tropical depression, has a 90% chance to do so by the end of the week. The other area that we're watching is in the Caribbean. This has a 40% chance for development. Developing in a, in a place where Helene developed, this is not expected to be the same storm. In fact, 40% is actually a good thing. Expected to move into the Gulf, but uh, development is going to be kind of slow and kind of sloppy. So we'll see how that goes over time. I'm not overly concerned about it, at least not at the moment. Temperatures upper 70s for much of this week, warmer than normal. Drier air finally starts to make an appearance later this weekend.